Good morning. It's like nine o'clock on a Saturday and I just woke up and I don't even know if you're gonna be able to tell, but it's snowing in Charleston. There's like little flurries. There are definitely snow clouds too, right there. But yeah, that's... Oh, do you wanna go outside? You don't wanna go outside, it's cold, man. Oh, I don't even know how cold it is. Whew, oh, Milo wants to. I can't keep this door open though. Okay, have fun. You can see it right there, you just can't see on camera. Did you see that? You can see them kind of flying around. They look like dust particles. Oh, now he's like, let me in. It's too cold. How are you just sitting out there? I moved here from Colorado like a year ago and I honestly could not care less if I never saw snow again, but it's just so weird. I live in a beach town now and it's still snowing here. Anyway, I'm gonna go get ready. I think we're gonna go to the gym soon. Gotta leave in like 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go get ready. I don't know if I'll record a workout because I'm not feeling so hot today. It's my time of the month. So I'm really not, not feeling the workouts right now, but I will, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna go get ready and eat breakfast and then I'll talk to you guys in a bit, okay? Legit tastes like a Jolly Rancher. I'm not kidding. So good. New favorite flavor, the watermelon. I'm making Alex one in a Starbucks mug because I'm out of shakers. And I don't want to give him this flavor. It's his favorite, but it's also my favorite. So I'm gonna get it out of here. I'll do half because I love it. This stuff is sour and he doesn't like it. Babe, how do you like your drink? Why is this in? Something tastes funny in there. Funny? Yeah. Why? Put Nothing. This is pre-workout and creatine. I may or may not have mixed the two pre-workouts because I want to save my watermelon one longer. So I put half and half. Do you love me? <laughs> it's not bad, though. that's pretty good. Yeah, kind of cuts the sour with the watermelon, huh? Mm -hmm. Both flavors are amazing, but the blue raspberry one, you have to fill up like a whole blender bottle with water if you're using that flavor because it's real sour. Unless you like sour things, which I do, but it's still a lot. <sighs> okay, let's go to gym. You ready? Let's go. Yeah, I'm shining bright, got me feeling like I'm next up like Feeling like I'm curry, how huh? I'm ballin' on a west wall If you told me back then, ooh, I never would've guessed so Now the way I'm winning, I might have to cut the net off Yeah, I'm shining bright, got me feeling like I'm next up Feeling like I'm curry, how huh? I'm ballin' on a west
that's wild If you told me back then, oh, I never would've guessed so Now the way I'm winning, I might have to cut the net hoe Okay guys, <sighs> glute workout is done. I tried to film as much as I could, but once again, the gym was so packed. I've been trying to film workouts since the new year, and every time I go, no matter what time it is, it seems like it's always packed. And good on everybody for sticking to their goals and coming to the gym consistently. Super proud of them. That also means that it's like so busy all the time. And so it's really hard to film. I feel like other people don't really want to be in the shots. So I try and find places that aren't around a ton of people. And that's kind of impossible right now. Also, my battery died halfway through my workout. So I didn't get to film every exercise that I did. But hopefully that shows you like some of the main glute focused leg exercises that I like doing. I think I mentioned this earlier. I don't know if I did. I don't think so. Today is my first official day of my period. So girls, you'll understand I am not feeling it today. I came anyway and I did a workout, but it was not to my fullest potential today because I'm very easily fatigued on my period, especially the first few days. So I did what I could and I didn't push myself too hard. Alex is still per usual taking a while. So he probably has like 10, 15 minutes left and I was going to go to the store to get a snack, but I really don't feel like going in and walking right now because I'm really tired. So I'm just gonna wait in the car and figure that would be a perfect time to just talk to you guys. I don't know if I've talked about this yet on my channel. I have on my Instagram quite a bit, but I haven't like really gone into detail about my reverse dieting and stuff. I'm going to make a whole video about my fitness journey and where I'm at now and stuff, but I am currently reverse dieting. I'm on month seven. That's insane. February, this next month will be seven months. This is the first time I've ever done it. And to be honest, this is the first time in my life that I've eaten over 1,800 calories consistently. Just to give you guys a little insight on my history with dieting and relationship with food and stuff. But yeah, I am feeling so good. Honestly, my period symptoms aren't that bad either. Like, I'm gonna go into more detail about that too when I talk about my whole fitness journey. But it's insane how much has changed physically and mentally. But yeah, right now, currently, I'm slowly increasing my calories by like 100 every week. I've gotten up to 2,300 calories calories as of right now. I love being able to eat this much, but it's so hard to consistently eat that much if you're not used to it, especially. I feel like I've gained muscle too. I have a whole new relationship with my body and a much more healthy view of my body than I have in the past. I'm able to lift a lot heavier and go a lot harder in the gym, which I love thanks to eating more calories. Also, I've done zero cardio since like October, so, and I haven't gained much weight at all. Definitely feel like my strength is going up. Normally, I'm able to lift a lot more but today I'm just not having it because it's my period and that's okay I'm not gonna beat myself up I'm not gonna get annoyed that I can't push myself as hard as normal because it's just life as a woman like you're going to have these days where you don't feel the best we're not like men that can just have the same exact routine day in and day out and goals that we set for ourselves because our hormones change so much but learning to work with that learning to know what phase of your cycle you're in and like where your hormones are at and how you're feeling and being more tune with your body is going to be a huge tool for you. My camera is gonna die. We're back. I'm also going to take my jacket off because it's getting a little toasty. But learning to be more in touch with how I'm feeling on certain parts of my cycle has really helped me emotionally too because I feel like I used to set these goals for myself. Like I'm gonna work out every single day, no cheat meals, no off days. Like I was really strict and had high expectations for myself every day and didn't really give myself grace at all if I slipped up or just was like too tired because it was that time of the month for me or like the weeks leading up to my period. I'm way more fatigued as well. Unmotivated and almost kind of like apathetic and not depressed, but just like, I don't really want to do anything. Learning to identify like why I'm feeling a certain way and where my body's at currently in my cycle has helped a lot. And so I can understand like if I physically and mentally struggling that day and I just don't have the energy that I normally do, it's totally fine. And I'm, it's not going to ruin any progress. I guess for like working out on my period, obviously I will try to get to the gym and do what I can, but 
even if that ends up being like one or two exercises, that's fine. And I'm not gonna beat myself up for it. And if it's your time of the month and you can't even get to the gym, that's fine. You are not weak. You are not a failure. Just give yourself grace and your body grace. It's hard to talk to because I'm so tired, but I just, I thought now would be a good time to talk about that too, because that's where I'm at right now. I was going to make this like a fun weekend vlog of like a workout and like meal prep and stuff like that, but I honestly just feel like vlogging how I'm actually feeling <laughs> and not trying to act like I feel great today because I don't. I'm probably just gonna take it easy today. I did what I could in the gym and that's amazing. The fact that I was able to get myself here at all is great and I feel good, like I don't, definitely didn't push myself too hard. I don't know about you girls, but on my period, if I push myself too hard in the gym, I literally cry <laughs> and I, it's like involuntarily, I just start crying sometimes or like I feel like I'm about to start crying. I pushed myself but I stopped when I felt like I needed to stop. So yeah, today I already went to the store but I'm going to probably meal prep a few things just so I can have for the upcoming week and some stuff that my boyfriend can eat this weekend too. But yeah, I don't think we have a whole lot planned today. I'm just gonna take you guys around wherever we end up going. <laughs> um, not sure what that's gonna be yet but I do know that I need food like stat he has to drop his car off guy who's gonna look at it and so i have to wait for him so we can go drop his car off and then he can ride back home with me in my car so that's the only reason that i am still here in the parking lot otherwise i'd be at home eating right now yeah i've been talking for like 15 minutes so hopefully this isn't like too much of a ramble but i feel like i don't really talk that much on these videos and i haven't really given any detail about my actual life and like what's going on and what i'm doing with reverse dieting and stuff like that so a full in-depth video will be coming soon about like my fitness journey and i might make a separate video just on reverse dieting for those who really want to know more about that especially if you've had a history of just constant dieting calorie restriction and intense cardio workouts and stuff and you feel like you can't lose weight no matter how little you eat or how much you work out reverse dieting is 1000% for you okay just trust me I will I'll talk more about it in another video how you can start with it and my experience and everything so comment below if you want to see that but I will probably see you guys in a bit I'm gonna go get him out of the gym and go get some food because I am starving update it's been over an hour and i'm just now picking him up from dropping his car off still haven't eaten anything since my workout he decided to take 40 minutes longer at the gym but good for him he gets to see me while i'm hangry so oh look he's coming <laughs> great we're recording <laughs> That's payback for taking an hour longer in the gym. Gains don't make themselves, people. You make them. My gains are gone because I haven't eaten. Okay, I'm ready to go. Why are we still here? Oh, really? Oh, so sorry. Let me just make sure that you get your food right away. Yes, I need food right away. I need to get home right away. I haven't been waiting around for like an hour for you or anything. Damn. You're driving. It's too busy. Where are you I going? can't turn right now. Muffins. Hi, Tuna. Hey, I know what you can do as an apology. Uh, you can boring. take these out to the trash for me. Gotcha. Ten four. Okay. Thank you. There's no way you could get all this in one go. There is no way, huh? Okay. There's no way. Open the door. Ah, <gasps> you're the best. Love you. Thanks. Don't drop it. I kind of want to see him eat the pickle. This dude will eat literally anything you give him. Will you eat the pickle? No way. No way. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's sour. Yeah, but he's eating it. Wow. Bro. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, he's swallowing it. You like pickles? How? Wow. <laughs> you are insane, dude. You gotta clean up his spit then. Off the coffee table. Unreal. <laughs> we should do a, a just a whole video dedicated to like what will my cat eat? Everything. Literally. I gave him a lime one time and he went. Bleh. 
like spat out. But that's like really sour. I wonder if he'd eat like, would you eat an onion? Or like a whole garlic clove? I might make a video on that. It's actually impressive what he will eat. I was too hungry to film making this, but it's just protein, frozen banana, peanut butter, and ground flax seed, and a little bit of almond milk. Don't worry, I made him one too. What else are you eating, babe? Fishies. Oh, yay. I don't know if this is going up before or after our vlog about eating a bunch of Russian snacks, but he's over there eating the other half of his $40 sausage. 35. Literally the same thing. <gasps> babe, we should go swimming. Can we jump into the pool? That's. Actually a goal of mine. Before April, I want to jump in the ocean before the water starts getting warm. Hopefully I'm able to film that. I need to get a GoPro or something. For sure gonna film that if we do it. What should we do today, babe? It's cold and windy outside, so there's not really a whole lot to like do outside. We could cook dinner together. Yeah. Let's do it. Probably chill for a little bit and then we're gonna make that pasta. We'll film that later. Okay, I don't really have a whole lot to talk about right now, so we'll catch you later. Probably gonna do what, babe? Lay down? Yep. What else is new? Okay guys, literally just talked about this and there's a cat with a pickle on my feed. Proof that he is not normal. We're gonna freeze, but we're picking up his car right now. And then we're gonna eat food. Matching hoods and slippers. It's Your freaking cold. Focuses. Left it downstairs. star of the show. It's hard to stir with my right hand because I'm left-handed. We're going to let this simmer. I'm gonna put it on like medium low like that until it starts simmering and then turn it down a little bit and cover it up for like 20-ish minutes. Keep it on low for a bit while I cook the rest of the dinner. The two different kinds of pasta. The first one I'm making for Alex, literally just a normal cheap kind of pasta. He likes the spirally ones. And then this one I'm making for myself. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's the banza, banza, banza. I'm guessing it's banza because it's like garbanzo beans made of chicken peas and the macros are so good on it per two ounces it's 35 carbs 11 grams of protein and three grams of fat which is so good like without any sauce or anything that's the macro Okay, so I ended up doing like four and a half ounces because it honestly was not a lot once it was cooked. Two ounces is like nothing. So I did four and a half ounces, probably like a half of a cup of the sauce. I tried to get some extra chunks of the ground chicken because I needed more protein today. And I did the same with him. We're gonna hate me for the amount of pasta that I gave him, but he needs the food, so. That's probably gonna wrap up the vlog. Pretty much it, that's all we're gonna eat for the rest of the night. I might have a protein shake before bed too. We are going to sit down and eat this and probably just watch TV and hang out the rest of the night. But yeah, that was my day today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Comment below what you guys wanna see next and I will see you guys next week.